Hey, welcome back to another gig log. Today we're going out to the Salem Cross Inn out in Brookfield, Massachusetts. Really cool couple today that I knew from my days hosting trivia. I used to host trivia. Uh, really cool couple, so I've been looking forward to this one for a while. All right, going not with the maximum, kind of the minimum of my equipment. So still plenty of room in the car. Just gonna get my clothes in there. You know, I haven't been taking the cart with me, which saves a lot of room in the car. Uh, now that I take Jamie with me, uh, he just likes to carry the stuff. He doesn't really, we don't even really use the cart. Now, I was just at the Salem Cross Inn a couple months ago for gig log number 34. And like a week later, at like nine o'clock in the morning, some guy who was driving by wasn't feeling well and so he pulled into the parking lot and then just hit the gas and plowed right through the barn door uh pretty much where the dj normally stands and sets up for weddings uh so he plowed through the barn the front door of the barn through uh hit just one of the poles and then out the side of the barn uh so he ruined it you know and so they had to actually close down for for a couple months to repair this now they still had weddings booked and i had one of them a few weeks later so what they did was they moved it to uh their restaurant they have a restaurant on property as well you know it's real low ceilings and you know i mean it's still real pretty but nowhere nearly as pretty as the barn so this was actually the first wedding after they repaired the barn, uh, the, so the first one back. So this was an exciting time for, for everyone, uh, the staff and the bride and everyone. Now the Salem Cross Aiden was built in 1740 here in West Brookfield, Massachusetts. And it's on a 600 acre farm and it's a working farm. And you can see why this barn is such an important part of the atmosphere here at the Salem Cross and what a bummer it was for the brides and grooms that weren't able to use it for the two months of renovations while they were trying to fix it after the accident. As you can see, it is just packed to the gills with cool, cool stuff. I mean, just cool antiques everywhere, everywhere you look. Now, after the ceremony, cocktail hour will be around the back of the building, down in their basement, where there is this giant fireplace uh, where they cook the prime rib. And man, they really have the best prime rib I think I've ever had in my life here. <laughs> they do such a good job. But as you can see, I mean, how can you go wrong cooking it like this with the, the old school spit and everything? I mean, just amazing. So cool. Today we're using the Evolve 30Ms. And my ceremony computer, it's an Acer Aspire 5, running Virtual DJ 22, the Sennheiser G4 wireless lav, the Shure BLX handheld microphone, Furman power conditioner, and Alesis Multimix 10.
uh, the bride and groom would say their vows. But Jordan sounds like Marlon Brando from The Godfather right now. He's a little under the weather. Same here. <laughs> Sam's not feeling great either. All right. And the poor bride and groom, they had been sick in the days leading up to this, and they both lost their voices. I mean, the bride kind of got hers back, but the groom, really, he was really hurting that day. Now, the bride and groom had a lot of complications in booking their honeymoon, and they were supposed to leave, you know, the following day uh, from Boston, Logan Airport, to go to Mexico or wherever they were going. But something fell through with the tickets or, or something happened where they ended up having to leave pretty much right after their wedding to drive to New York City uh, to LaGuardia Airport to fly out of there at like three o'clock in the morning or something like something crazy like that. I mean, they just had to rush, rush, rush. I felt really bad for them. And then I actually spoke to them afterwards and asked them about how their honeymoon was. And I guess there was a, a hurricane had come through and so they had to evacuate the hotel. All kinds of crazy stuff happened, but they had some great stories and they really did have a good time. So I'm very happy for this couple. Through your ears I hear it. Through your eyes I see This was a Sunday afternoon wedding that ended early. I think it ended around 6.30 or 7. So it was an early day, you know, and we still had a whole lot of fun. I mean, we, we had a blast. Great people were there, you know, lots of great people. And now here's a little bonus footage from the night before, the wedding I had the night before. This one was at Pine Ridge in Oxford, Massachusetts, which is a golf course that doesn't do very many weddings a year. Uh, I usually do a couple there every year, but they don't do a whole lot. Great, great staff though. I love, I love the people there. Give my love to you This one was Grateful Dead themed, which is really, really cool. I love the Grateful Dead, but knowing the Grateful Dead, I didn't expect it to be a big, you know, as, as much of a party band as they are and as much as they're danceable for the people who are into them, it's not real danceable music for a normal wedding situation. So I, I didn't know really what to expect, but we had a lot of fun. Uh, we danced to some cool stuff that I don't usually play. David Bowie, uh, I still believe from the Lost Boys soundtrack, you know. We had a lot of fun and easily the coolest um, sweetheart table setup ever. I mean, how cool is this? Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Till next time, peace.